the windows are set in now and just need a bit more cleaning up see my finger going up through so you can tell from that that they are transparent um, this central piece here I thought that would be good to leave that loose so it can be cleaned and oiled and un this doesn't fit very well it was just cut roughly under there a piece of um, iridescent glass that could be viewed through the holes because that was a problem what it was going to look like down inside and just around this edge here so that could look quite nice it could be dual purpose so if you wanted to use the center of the table just take that out when you're not using it pop it back in again I mean it is important it's had um, lots of admiration here this central piece it just everything else grows from it the whole design um, all right just looking at the chairs a moment if you I can put in the blue and the green that are on the table and echo those with white adhesive behind so it'll make the colors pop out I've got this here is a little bit of um, iridescent uh, mirror glass, black mirror, and it's sort of blue and green. And that could have, I thought that could go in there with some glass studs around it. So it'd be a, a quite a neat little feature that would echo the table. And then this um, chair here, the chair seat, it's got, there's more detail going on in the slate work. And there's just a little spare place there for glass. Now I'm just going to go behind me a minute sorry about the camera flashing around obviously I can't use the tripod while I'm moving about I've got some more iridescent glass here now these perhaps could be used in the in the holes if you prefer I thought this large piece here I could cut that and that would fit snugly in under there and I've got a little piece of it here I think is it turned around um, whoops it's flipped over I put a little piece in that bit of slate there I plugged that in temporarily because I thought that looked quite nice and worked well with the rest of it no, it's not going to sit there is it it's going to keep mucking about um, hmm. stop it there he is got him right plug that in there when I get to it a uh, piece of that in there so it looked quite nice when you lift this off it'd be, it, it would look nice as well so we could uh, we could use perhaps use that glass to go in here or as I said just carry on and use the the brighter blue and the green I think the chairs can cope with it because um, because it would be quite subtle so going back to this iridescent glass if you call that piece one there the large piece because there's enough there to cut some off that and put it in the chairs if you like it I've got some other pieces here do they change in the sunlight so that one's quite um, quite purpley so call this one number two and this one's green but when you lift it in the sun there's green and purple and a bit of gold call that number three and this one's greenier green and gold a slight bit of turquoise call that four all right my bird bar's falling apart it's just loosely loosely put together um now the chain, I wanted to talk about the chain. I've replaced this chain. This is Connect chain. It's far too rusty. So I've got Shimano chain, um, replaced it. There's still rust coming through. The blacksmith tells me that there's no such thing as a complete, as a totally stainless steel chain because the working parts would be too soft. So I didn't realize that. Um, so either this has to this chain has to be polished regularly and at the end of the video clip you'll see me demoing just putting a bit of polish on it or uh, I can dig it out and put microchip mosaic in or perhaps your bicycle man knows of a completely rust free chain in which case I'm happy to dig it out again and put that in um, these will need to be polished and, and so will this it will need to be maintained as the rest of it is really sturdy this is galvanized need a couple more coats of varnish on it um, the table base hasn't been varnished yet it's been etched and stained so all that would be really sturdy but you would have to to maintain it you would have to make sure it's kept polished unless you want me to replace these parts these are fine the spokes they'll stay as they are you get you always get a little bit of um, oxidization with stainless steel um, but these are these are looking quite good so I'm just gonna stand back 
and I might already have this on the other video clip so I'm, go I'm going back to front here because I deleted the first clip I took I'll just stand back a minute and get the whole thing in alright so I'm just going to pop this on quickly this is the polish it's um, Liberon I would send you a can with the furniture that will last you quite a while so really it's if you can be doing with just giving this a quick polish over over the chain about once a week perhaps a bit more just to preserve that um, as I say unless your man does know of a completely rust free chain or we'd have to look at perhaps putting something else in there like some um, um, micro mosaic plain glass crash glass but that would be a pity the chain looks fabulous it's out now now in the public i expect you can hear the noises going on and it's had lots and lots of admiration particularly that draws people in first of all the quirkiness of it standing proud and then when they come in and on closer inspection they're really sort of enjoying the feel of um, it looking like definitely a bicycle theme but they like the idea of the track going around and even people are saying it sort of looks like like um, fossils and stuff like that but with a kind of quirky contemporary flair so it's been good fun my end anyway uh, if you can see that coming up and see how it just lifts the rust off or or seals it in the chain so that's what you would need to do <coughs> to preserve it as it is now. Around different light does different things. With this central piece here, I've taken the iridescent glass out. So what I would do is carve this down. So by the time I'd adhered the glass in there, it would be as far down as this surface is now. So, but that would sit in there and it wouldn't get nudged out so that that height and sitting in there looks much better